How's it going everybody and welcome to my first ever course. In this course we're going to be learning how to use the Mantine library. I think this is a really cool library with a lot of great potential and in today's video we're going to be learning how to set up a basic React TypeScript app with this library and all the NPM packages that we need. And by the end of this entire course you should have enough knowledge and enough skills so that you can make your own cool apps with this library and its hooks. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so to get started installing this library, I went ahead and opened up the documentation for this. The link to this is in the, in the description below, so go ahead and open that up. And then the first thing we're going to see is this get started button. Go ahead and click that. And this is going to take us to a page where it's going to ask us to choose all of our packages. The first two are already checked since they are mandatory. The left one right here is for all the hooks, and the one on the right is for all the core components, inputs, buttons, overlays, etc. The next six aren't mandatory, but I'm still going to go ahead and install them. Next, it's going to ask us to get started with. We want to choose Create React App since we are creating a TypeScript React App. And I'm going to click on this clipboard, clipboard that says Copy Code. And then I'm going to go into my code editor of choice. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste that into my terminal. Before I press Enter, I'm going to change my app name to be Mantine Course. You can change it to whatever you want. And I'm going to press Enter and I'm going to let it work its magic. All right, now that the app is installed, now we gotta install the dependencies. So I'm going back into the documentation and underneath install dependencies, since I'm going to be working in NPM, I'm going to go ahead and just copy this code right here. If you're working with the yarn, you, you're going to have to click on this one. So I'm going to paste it right here, but before I press enter, there's one extra icon, there's one extra library that we have to add and that's the Radix icons library. It took me like forever to figure out what kind of library they were using for the actual icons in this stuck in this uh, documentation, but it's apparently Radix dash icons. So it goes at modules with a Z because they're cool slash Radix icons, and I'm gonna press enter. All right, so now just to make sure that everything is working. I'm gonna go ahead and start our app. So I'll do npm start, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be importing a simple Mantine button. So right underneath everything, it says all done. We're going to just copy this little snippet of code right here. And we're going to go into our app. I'm going to open up my source folder, go into my app.tsx. I'm going to minimize my terminal just a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of this whole header, header content and import our button. It's going to be redlined. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to import the button from Mantine itself. And that is right up here. It's coming from Mantine slash core. And so at the very top here, I'll just install that, or I'll just import that and just wait for my app to start. All right, now that we've set up the entire project with all the dependencies and the packages that we need, next video we're going to learn how to use a Mantine provider. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.